The Imperial Palace served as the imperial residence during the Ming and Qing dynasties, also known as the Forbidden City. It exemplifies ancient Chinese palace architecture and is renowned as first among the five grand palaces of the world. The Forbidden City was tightly guarded. On the south side, between the Meridian Gate and the Upright Gate, a 10-meter high wall surrounds the palace, defending it from the outside world. Standing atop the wall, you can look out on roofs covered by golden glazed tiles arranged in picturesque disorder, creating an imposing yet magnanimous image. The Forbidden City complex consists of two parts, an inner court and outer court. At the center of the outer court are the three major halls, namely the Hall of Supreme Harmony, the Hall of Central Harmony, and the Hall of Preserving Harmony. As the place where grand ceremonies and rituals were held, the halls are the most magnificent buildings on Beijing's city axis. You can walk along a stone path engraved with dragons and ascend three terraces to reach the emperor's throne. During grand ceremonies, bells were rung, drums pounded, and ceremonial music played, creating a majestic and awe-inspiring atmosphere. We are now at the square in front of the gate of heavenly purity, which leads to the inner court. Here are the principal residential palaces of the emperors and their empresses. The Palace of Heavenly Purity was the imperial living quarters. Its name literally means pure and clear sky. It was initially built during the reign of the Yongle Emperor during the Ming Dynasty. The present building was constructed in the third year of the Jiaqing Emperor's reign during the Qing Dynasty. At the top of the red stairway, on the west side, stands a jialiang, a device used to measure standard volumes. Opposite it, on the east side, is a sundial, a device used for telling time. Behind the Palace of Heavenly Purity is the Hall of Union. Along with the Palace of Heavenly Purity and the Palace of Earthly Tranquility, it is one of the three palaces of the inner court. Passing through the grand inner court hall, we come to the gate of earthly tranquility. Entering this gate, we reach the Imperial Garden, which sits at the northernmost end of the Forbidden City. During the Ming Dynasty, it was referred to as the Garden Behind the Palace, as the center of the garden is the Hall of Imperial Peace, which lies on the complex's north-south axis. Pavilions, terraces, towers, and pagodas are arranged around the central hall. Deeper within the Forbidden City, we see the six eastern palaces and six western palaces on either side of the inner court palaces. They share similar layouts, but each is an independent house. One or several imperial concubines lived in them, accompanied by eunuchs or maids. The six western palaces are among the more well-preserved areas of the Forbidden City and offer a glimpse into the furnishings of the imperial family in the late Qing Dynasty. Passing through the Gate of Divine Prowess, we exit the Forbidden City at its north end. Several centuries have passed, yet people are still constantly amazed by this ancient place. It stands out as one of the world's unparalleled jewels of classical architecture. <laughs>